still got to work on the ones that do have six legs. How am I going to work? <clears throat> got to break that list of eight into two lists. Does it have four legs? No, you can't do that, can you? Seems like they all have six legs. Oh, they do? That was our answer to the question. Does it have antennas? Antenna? Antenna, antenna. How about the wing question now? Okay, let's do the wings. The wing question, because then if we a yeah. ask about wings, now you want the wings, <laughs> right? Yes, no, right? It's 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 more specific than that. It's it's harder to find that out. You can still find it out fairly simply, but that you just have to glance at the darn thing, see if it has six legs. Wings sometimes you got to look closer. Um, does it have wings? Yes, cockroach, bees, yep. wasps, yep. butterflies, oh. <laughs> beetles. Oh shoot! Maybe they all have wings. That's not going to work. <laughs> no, it's not going to work. It's got to come up with a better question than that. Does it? Uh, poisonous. We, we actually we could use this very same question. Oh, right? let's do it then. Does it make Except noise? we asked it over here of the six, the non six legged, but we can ask the same question over here for the six legged. Poisonous. poisonous. Sting or bite. Question mark. Yes, no. Cockroaches, no. Bees, yes. Wasps, yes. yes. Moths, no. Ants, yes. 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 Butterflies, and no. never heard of one. Beetles, no. no. Grasshoppers, no. no. Alright, three and five. Um, let's break these up. Bees, wasps, and ants. Let <laughs> a sting. Um. Um, Does actually, it? at some point of the life cycle, there are flying ants. Does it produce honey? Um, uh, let's see. Um, I, let's see. Um, ants, a true ant doesn't have a tail sting. Oh, why would you say that? Oh, my God. That sounds funny. Uh, but these do have tail stingers. So let's ask about the tail stinger. I hear we're just asking poisonous sting or bite. Um, tail sting. Yes, no, no is ants. There are some ground wasps that look like ants, but they're not really not ants. Wasp. You know, if you were a naturalist from an alien planet, you would you would look you folk, we would find that out. Okay. What's different between bees and wasps? Does it produce honey? Honey production. Alright, why not? Or fur. Doesn't one have fur and one doesn't? Honey will have fur. Um the the nature of the stinger is different, but honey works good. Honey Yes, no, bees, yes, wasps, no. We've keyed them out completely. We went from six legs to the poison sting or bite, to the tail sting, to the honey production. Okay, got to break these up. Cockroaches, moths, butterflies, beetles, grasshoppers. They have hard exoskeletons? They all do. Oh. Cocoon? Cocoon. Silk. Silk. Yes, no. Um, cockroaches, no. Moths, no. yes. Yeah. Butterflies, yes. No, isn't the? Yeah, they gotta make a. They gotta make their little thing. Beetles, <laughs> no. Grasshoppers, no. All right, let's. Uh, what's the difference between a butterfly and a moth? Butterflies are pretty. <laughs> what? Moths are pretty too. Isn't one um, like? It's active at night. One's Nocturnal. What? Nocturnal? Yes. Question mark, yes, no. Moths, yes. Butterflies, no. Right. And still these to come. Cockroaches, beetles, and grasshoppers. How can I discriminate between them? They all make noise, so you can't do that. Uh, they all have wings. They don't make silk. Oh, do they all have wings? Yeah, they all have wings. Um, jump. 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 Jump? All right. Yes, no. The ones that do are the grasshoppers. The ones that don't, cockroaches and beetles. I've seen some cockroaches jump. I've never seen a jumping cockroach. Thank you. Good to go together. Um, they do move differently. I've never seen a beetle run as fast as a cockroach. So we could ask something about their running speed. Fast? Fast. 
What are those pincers? Like, like, Question mark. Yes. <laughs> no. Beatles have those little. Beatles, no. Cockroaches, hell yeah. <laughs> we've gone from there to there, I thought there, there fast. and we've keyed everything out. So now that you've got this, as you're, you're being the first wave naturalist, once that's in, in the literature, now the future aliens coming to the planet can pick up a bug, an arthropod, and say, what is this thing? Well, let's see. Um, Doc, believe me, the already made the key, so does it have six legs? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it has six legs. That eliminates all of those. Can't be possible. It has six legs. We don't even have to consider those. And uh, let's see. Next question. Does it have a sting or a bite? Ow! Ow! Yes, it does. So I can eliminate... Uh, do we have them? The okay, yes. None of these do have a sting, a poison sting or bite. So we eliminate those. Those that do... Well, whatever it has six legs and just stung me in the hand has got to be one of these things. How did it sting me? Did it bite me and sting me? Or, or did, it, did it sting me with its tail? Yeah, it stung me with its tail. It's still embedded in my hand. Okay, uh, well, I think it's got to be a honeybee because uh, the stinger's got a barb in it. But you know, you got you to look at behavior in the rest of the hive to learn about honey production. But see, just by following the key and answering yes or no questions about your unknown, you eliminate everything that is impossible about your unknown, and you're left with one. We've done deductive reasoning here. Sherlock Holmes, that's the way he rolled. You know, he started with very, very general statements that caused him to be able to eliminate the impossibilities. And then he moved to more specific details and allowed him to remove and eliminate more and more impossibilities. And he said that once you've removed all of the impossibilities, what you have left, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. And we're going to use this whole dichotomous key method to figure out what you've got for an unknown. Okay, bring your minds back to bacteria, away from bugs. Are you going to want to make up our own? Oh, yeah, you're going to make your own key. <laughs> but I'll do one together with you. 